Hello and welcome to the channel that will enhance your standard of life health wise, psychologically, and also money wise. This is the Cheapskate channel. Well, in this episode, I'm going to talk to you about something that I really hadn't talked to you about. And since it is something that is prevalent here in the region where I live, and I think it's probably prevalent in lots of other places in the world, it's uh, the subject of toxic people and how they affect everything that we do. They affect our health, they affect our relationships, and they definitely affect our money dealings. Because it seems as though when money is involved, people just lose their natural mind. I've been involved in several business ventures which were quite profitable from time to time. But unfortunately, it seems as though every time that the profits start coming in, if you had a partner or someone else that was there whose mindset was not attuned to making money and taking care of business, they just, they lost it. They lost all touch with reality and common sense. It's depressing and it's also expensive emotionally and financially. I've been drawn into court a couple of times over something like this, all because of people not taking care of their financial responsibility. They were being toxic, and toxic people you need to stay away from. If you are a person of faith out there, and you believe in forgiving others, forgive them. Don't forgive them for them or their sake. Forgive them for your sake so that you won't have this stuff boiling up inside of you and churning up day after day, week after week, month after month, and year after year for an indefinite period of time for something that really you can't do anything about at this late date. Stay away from toxic people is the best advice I have for you initially. I generally have an acid test for toxic people and that's to watch them. You know, you give them a little bit of, of rope uh, to see exactly what they're going to do. If they start coming in and, and have little things that they kind of say offhand or these overtly critical people or p things people do to sabotage what you're trying to do or just negative, a lot of the, then I call them the you can't people. Nah, you can't do that. What do you know about that? You, uh, Who are you? All that kind of stuff. Those are the things that toxic people say. You know, just because they're limited in their own narrow mindset doesn't mean that whatever you're trying to do is impossible to do. They haven't even tried it. They don't have the guts to try it. So... The best thing that I can say about that is to run from them. Stay as far away from them as you can. Because I put them almost in the same category. In fact, some of them are what's called emotional vampires. They feed on your positivity because they have so much negativity inside them. They can't generate anything that's positive. So they find positive people and they latch on to them. And they suck the good hope and possibility thinking out of you and all the while it's just going into this black hole of their empty character and the only thing that's coming out of their emptiness is more negativism that's thrown at you and so you eventually lose your hopefulness and you take on their character and all the while you're losing precious time when you could be doing constructive things for yourself for your family, and also for your pocketbook, all because you're hanging around the wrong type of people. I hate to sound classist and elitist, but there is a lot of sense in what a lot of people say about you need to watch who you hang around with. You know, you need to hang around people who are going places, who have positive ideas, who are possibility thinkers instead of people who are caught into that same rut 
And that's what it is, a rut. A day-to-day, oh, well, this is how it is. I ain't going to get no better. How do you know if you're going to get better? You haven't even tried. Lots of people have started from nothing and end up being very successful people. Those people have gotten away from a lot of the you can't type people. And that's what I really call them. The you can't. You can't do this. You don't know that. Trust me. I don't know what I can do. How is some monkey going to tell me what they think they know what I can do? You need to adopt this character too. Because you will be much better off psychologically because you won't have that little bird flying around your head telling you that you can't do it. You know, and you'll be hanging around people who are trying things. You know, it's best not to bounce your best ideas off of everybody sometimes you have to keep them to yourselves because you don't know who it is you're talking to they might subconsciously poison you out there in it so you need to keep your good ideas to yourself work on them privately don't announce to the world what you're doing you know I may get on here and I may share good ideas with you but I'm not going to really announce what I'm actually doing to help myself because negativism can be transmitted metaphysically you know you could be miles away and hear my voice and look at me and you can focus on me and go oh that idiot doesn't know what he's talking about you know what has he done who is he why is he on YouTube all this kind of stuff stay away from those folks I'm staying away from them that's the reason why I live way out where I do to stay away from negative thinkers and that my word you know even out here in this little little remote place where I live they try to seek you out they try to draw you into their petty conflicts they keep trying to ask you well why don't you get involved I say very little about the situation here sometimes I will get on a rant but generally I find that people are generally not ready for what I am committed to do. You need to be that way too. You need to adopt a success mindset that everybody else isn't ready for because most of the day-to-day people are just they have a certain way of thinking about things. That's the way their mama thought about things. That's the way their grandmama thought about things. That's the way everybody in their family thought about things. And very few people have an epiphany and come up and go well why can't I do that you need to be one of those possibility thinkers it used to be a a televangelist on the radio uh, Dr. Shula he believed in possibility thinking you know there's a lot of truth to possibility thinking you have to say instead of saying you can't say why not why not? Why can't I do that? You see other people doing things, going places, having things. Why can't you do things? And if it's moral and ethical, then chances are the great forces, whatever you believe in, will allow you passageway to have this done. I'm sharing this information to you to help you protect yourself from naysayers and negative people. And they are out there. And we haven't even started talking about the people who, the folks out here call root burners. And all the people all into all the negative black arts and all that. But that's for another, that's for another topic. This is just to let you know that next time if you happen to be someplace and you see somebody that's looking at you. And they're looking at you like you just come back from a cemetery and sped on their mama's grave. Watch out for them. They might try to weave their way into your life. Stay away from them. Stay away because they mean you no good. Stay away. That's the best advice I can give you. Well, anyway, if my little, well, I don't know if I call this a rant. My warning has been helpful to you in helping you keep your eyes open and helping you to know who you're dealing with. Please like and share this video. And of course, as I say in all my videos, copy the web page location at the top of your web browser and post it on your LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube page, 
or any other type of social media page and say hey this guy believes in a can do type mindset you need to take a look at that too if you are surrounded by a bunch of negative people and they could be some of the people closest to you who just act like you ain't doing squat and you'll never do squat get away from them stay away from them take care of yourself help yourself encourage yourself and you'll be amply rewarded in the future thanks a lot for listening to my rant or my warning and we'll see you next time on the Chiefs Kitchen.